of the other things that you mentioned in the past that I think ties into this conversation of protectionism and trade barriers is you you mentioned that um, in 2022 that there was a very negative view of China um, that that had grown, and then recently you talked about this group think in especially in Washington D.C. that is you know anti-China, and and maybe that hammer <laughs> that hammering of China is not a good thing, and I, and I want to talk about that because I think it's a new way of talking about China that you know. That, that many people aren't discussing, that maybe it's not all bad and our relationship could potentially uh, have, we need more reflection on that, um, on, on the opportunities, that it's not all a negative game. So, yeah, I've been thinking a lot about this and, uh, you know, I know I'm not the only one and I'm not the first. Uh, I mentioned recently people like Ali Wine and Jessica uh, Chen Weiss have, have been, you know, and I think uh, at at some risk in terms of the the, the sort of marketplace for ideas in in DC, um, been really iconoclastic on on this sort of march to a China hawk position, um, and really trying to say, wait, slow down. Um, and both of them have been doing it in their own ways. Um, Ali has has written for us in the past, and what he said basically is like, even if we want to compete with China, that's not how we should define U.S. foreign policy. Um, U.S. foreign policy should not be reactive to China. It should not only be a, a competition with China or trying to counter China's advances. It should be based on what's America's strengths. Like what can we do and what can we offer that people want? And there's, a, I think very clearly a great demand um, left for U.S. leadership, uh, especially U.S. trade and trade uh, deals, which I think the Biden administration has ruled out uh, in, in uh, somewhat short-sightedly. Um, I think what I'm what I'm trying to say is going even a step further because, um, you know, and 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 I think I need to preface it with the caveat that yes, China is problematic. China, the Chinese Communist Party is authoritarian dictatorship. Um, the the repression in Xinjiang and across the country is horrific. Um, the 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 move on, uh, during Xi Jinping's uh, leadership toward a, a, a more repressive, more closed off. China um, and and a more ideologically driven China um, is 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 clearly a disappointment and and a, a reversal of what people were hoping and 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 maybe somewhat expecting. Um, so I think that's all very clear, and I think that the U.S. does need to respond to that. Europe does need to respond to that um, by taking stronger measures by protecting themselves when it comes to strategic supply chains and, and things like that, diversifying. Um, but I think that in, in the, the, the recognition of, of that, that things were going in a direction that, that, were, uh, that were belying the policy agenda in, in Washington or counter, counter, counter current to the policy agenda uh, and that, uh, that something needed to change, I think there's been a rush to say everything about the past 20 years has been a mistake um, and that it's been a mistake committed by U.S. governments and European governments. And I think that, first of all, that, that there needs to be a real and, and also that everything that's gone wrong in the past 20 years has been a result of China. Um, and, and I think that that is really dangerous. First of all, in terms of the U.S., uh, the decline in, the, in America's relative power, the U.S. contributed a lot to that. 20-year uh, wars in Afghanistan and uh, maybe a, a 10 or 15-year one in, in Iraq, um, a squandering of, of goodwill, a squandering of that kind of unipolar dominance that the United States had, um, the global financial crisis, the, the, that sort of casino economy uh, that was favored, um, the enforcement of the Washington consensus and neoliberalism uh, on uh, developing countries, that had their own ideas uh, for how to address inequalities and, and poverty, most notably in, in South America and Latin America. So I think that, the, that blaming everything on China is a mistake. I think also saying that everything about bringing China into the global economy and China's rise is a mistake, uh, uh, has been a mistake, is also very dangerous. First of all, um, irregardless of uh, geopolitics, Hundreds of millions of Chinese brought out of poverty is a good. That's a, a good for China. It's a good for humanity. It's a good for the world. Um, 
uh, beyond that, the, the impact that China has had in the developing world in terms of uh, infrastructure investment, development, trade, demand uh, for commodities. It's been imbalanced. Uh, at, sometimes, at times it might've been predatory, uh, but the benefits that it is, uh, that it's accrued to uh, South American countries, African countries, Southeast Asian countries, in terms of poverty reduction, in terms of economic development, in terms of infrastructure, they can't be denied. And they happened at a time when the US and Europe um, increasingly turned their back on development aid, on uh, ways that, uh, that the developing world could be helped beyond simply the Washington consensus and uh, structural adjustments and, and things of that nature. So I think there's that as well. Um, I think the idea of a world where the US and Europe dominate and have as much of a wealth and power inequality as they did uh, beginning in 2000 is just fundamentally unjust. And I don't think that should be anyone's goal. Um, and so I think, uh, and we can get into this more, um, I think there are real opportunities right now. I think that there was a time for uh, a reset of, of how we approach China and address China. I think that this idea of, of containing China, of trying to make countries choose between the US and China or the West and China is a real mistake. Um, Short-sighted, doesn't play to our strengths. Um, it, and, and I think between that and the things like the industrial policy, the IRA, uh, um, some of the measures that Europe has taken, the, uh, the, the, the border tax on carbon border tax, things like that, um, they, they go against everything that the US and, and Europe have been trying to create in terms of the global order, a, a liberal global order, where there's, uh, where there's more integrated economy and, and things like that. So I think there's gonna be more and more of a disjuncture between uh, the, the US, U.S. values and the U.S. value proposition. Um, and, and then, um, you know, we could talk about it more because uh, uh, in terms of what I see a, a sort of rebalancing and reconfiguration taking shape between the global north and the global south, I think that those, that, that creates opportunities uh, for the U.S. and the West, but, I, but not if they play it as, as they have uh, in the past year or so or, or more of um, you know, uh, competing with China in ways that then uh, divide the West, competing with China in ways that then force other countries to make binary choices that they don't wanna make um, and, and demonizing China in ways that doesn't resonate. If you talk to populations in, in governments and publics in Africa, for instance, there, there's a, a much more nuanced view of, of China's role in Africa uh, than it's portrayed and 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 perceived in in Washington. So, to my mind, that that's what I mean when I say that that we need a much more balanced and nuanced discussion of China to to recognize and call out where where there are problems, but to not go so overboard that that we blind ourselves to where there are opportunities and also where we where we uh, dismiss very clear gains. Um, the I, th I think that without China's rise. The, the, over the past 20 years, the world would be monumentally worse off, including Western populations, but especially in the developed world and, 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 and elsewhere.